But along the line, my daughter started falling sick on intervals. We did all we could do. I remember one night when we woke up and her temperature was as high as 39, 40. We didn't know where to start from. I and my husband, we had to rush her to the hospital. We got there, to f we found out she had an infection. Hello, I am a Proco doctor and you're welcome to the Hygiene Series, brought to you by Hypo. Hello, my name is Esther Akman. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a mother of two. I would like to tell you my hygiene story. Some time ago when I had gave birth to my daughter, as a new mom, I felt I was well prepared for the journey. I had read a lot of books. I listened to a lot of, a lot of programs, went to seminars, so I felt I was prepared. But there was one night when my daughter started having temperature thought it was just something we could give paracetamol until the, the, the temperature rose to 39, 40 and we were forced to rush her to the hospital. On getting to the hospital, she was treated and the doctor said she had bacteria and infection. We, we did all we could do. She was admitted for some days and later we came back home. This same thing happened the next month and it kept happening. Then I started seeking for advice from friends to know what they've done in this kind of situation. Someone even advised me to use Agbo, the Yoruba herbal something. Another person said that she used the pap water to bait her, that maybe did something, one thing. So that people gave different opinion. I remember someone said I should take her to the church, that she needs prayer. But we decided to actually look for the root of the problem because we knew that a child will not just fall sick without something happening. And while I was worried, contemplating that I can't keep taking this child to the hospital, keep pressing her every time, I stumbled on an advert one day. It's a normal advert that I usually see every time. So I decided to, okay, work on my hygiene, to step it up. I got the hypo bleach and I started mopping the house. I mopped the house and I cleaned the surfaces. I was observing her for some time. I kept doing this, I kept doing this regularly to see what the problem was because I realized that our kids are fond of picking things from the floor, from surfaces. Even while you feed them, if their food drops on the floor, before you would come to sweep it or to, to caution them, the food is already back inside their mouth. Some of them do all sorts of things, touch surfaces and put it in their mouth. So this was what was triggering this infection, this sickness all the time. So when I started cleaning the surfaces, when I started mopping the ground, I started taking conscious hygiene procedures. I started doing all I had to do. She wasn't falling sick any longer. I had to tell my friends that you don't have to use a bowl. You need to clean properly. You need to, you need to um, mop the ground. You need to use a very good disinfectant. I introduced to other, other of my friends, I told them, when they asked me what I used, I actually told them that this was what I used because that was what was working for me. On having my second baby, I was already prepared. I was already informed. I know what was going on. I didn't have to keep a, a go somewhere for my baby or bait the baby with, with pap water. I was very prepared. So when I was buying my baby things, I, I bought my hypo, my hypo bleach alongside, and I was using it to mop the, the ground, the surfaces. I even used it. I, you can also use the hypo bleach to wash your toilet. It's also good for that. So I, I, I was well prepared, and I, I'm sure with this my baby now, I've not had any reason to go to the hospital to treat or, or any other thing because as mothers should know, our kids are fond of picking things from the floor into their mouths. They take all sorts of things when their food drops before you can even come there to, to sweep it off. They are already putting it back into their mouth. So I think I advise mothers to try and keep a healthy and hygiene environment, to clean their surfaces, to dust everywhere, to use a very good disinfectant so that we can avoid running to the hospitals 
and endangering the life of our children. So if you've been following us, you're going to remember that we say one thing. One of the primary ways we interact with our environment is with our hands. And for toddlers, it gets even worse because they are in the process of learning, they are interacting with the environment, they're picking up stuff, they're putting it in their mouth. What does this mean? That they come in contact with more germs than usual. And the more germs they come in contact with, the higher chances of them falling ill. So how do you keep your family safe, especially if you're a parent and you have a toddler in your house? Please ensure that you disinfect your toilets at least every day and ensure that you disinfect your whole house at least twice a week. This will reduce the amount of infections your children come in contact with. Because you always have to remember that your children and your family's safety is in your hands and it's your responsibility to keep them safe.